You and I turned up at 12.30. We watched the Manchester derby. We're going to talk about that in a second. Then we turn around and got three o'clock kickoffs, And we're sitting there about 15, 20 minutes and going, this is a bit dull. What are we going to talk about? Yeah. <gasps> Wow. OMG. By the end of it, Gabs, there is stories everywhere. Every single Premier League game gives us a story. Every game. And I feel like we've got two hours. And there's, there's a team that are lucky that we've got two hours. I feel like that team might be uh, who, Leicester team? City. Oh, yeah. Because they, were... they, they are a shambles at the moment as well. Do you know what? I, I heard Mr. Peters, Jeff Peters, was there. I think he said there were protests in the, in the away end. Mm. There are protests. I believe they're coming to an end at Goodison. If you've been in those protests, so 37172 Just to give you a rundown of the, of the scores, what's happened. Uh, Manchester Derby earlier. Man United won 2 1. Wolves won 1 0 against West Ham. They're in big trouble. Forest winning 2 0. That's been a turnaround. Leicester City, what? What's going on there? Brighton three, three Liverpool nil. By the way, Gabby and I watched that. That that scoreline does not flatter Brighton. Liverpool were battered, and that's not an underestimate. They were absolutely yeah, outclassed. You say men against boys. That was men against boys from minute one. Yeah. From minute one, Gab and Everton took the lead on 39 minutes, but Ward Prowse just after half time and a free kick ensured that the three points head south. I mean, every game there's a story. Gabby, every single game. What is the, the biggest story is Liverpool? I wanted to speak quickly about Liverpool because this season they've not been the usual Liverpool. Last Liverpool. season they played in every game possible, Listen going for four competitions. Yep. This season they're a million miles off it. They've had injuries. Every club's had injuries. Yes. But I look at Jurgen Klopp's record at Mines. It was there mm. for seven years. Mm -hmm. Dortmund was there for seven oh, years. What are you saying, Gab? Liverpool has been here for seven years, nearly eight. I feel that, is this the time where Liverpool need a new voice? Are the players not responding to him? That team that was put out today, mm. Alisson, Robertson, Canate, nice. Matip, Trent, um, Henderson, Thiago, Fabinho, Ox like Oxley chamberlain mm. Gakpo, Salah, that team should not be losing 3-0 to Brighton. That team, <laughs> shouldn't, that team shouldn't be having 38% possession, two shots on target. What about the passes? The passes here, 240 more more passes. This um, is Brighton, Brighton had, by the way. Brighton had 240 more passes. Trent, yeah, he's back he's... to the Trent that was that we were mm. we, we mm. were we were saying didn't want to defend today. He was getting ripped. He was he by was. Mitomo, Mitomo, Mitomo yeah. and he wasn't even running back to try and help someone that's covering for him. Liverpool were a shambles. They were and a, sh they were a shambles. Klopp, for me, he's got a lot to answer for. Yeah, there's um there's a story brewing there. Me, me thinks. I mean, you mentioned there Everton as well. What is going on? Crisis in Merseyside right now. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Uh, let's go to the Lions, Gab. Yeah. Let's go and speak to a Liverpool fan. Sean, he's dialed that number. Sean, good evening. Good evening. All right, Sean. Yes, good evening. Hello, mate. Good evening, chaps. Um, yeah, just, um, I don't know what to did do. You, sorry, did you go, so Sean? What, what? No, I'm still here. Are you hearing me? Yeah, did you go to the game? No, I didn't go to the game. I watched it. Mm. Right, okay. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's just absolutely diabolical what's going on. Mm. You, know, um, you know, what's brought us success a few years back is, is this high press. You win the ball quickly. You pass the ball to your forward players and your wing-backs. But now, we haven't got the legs, but the manager doesn't seem to be saying to the players, you need to drop five yards or say to the wing-backs, you're going too high. So, you know, and when we're buying players, you know, yes, Nunes, I think, has got potential in the future, but Gapko, who's come in, he's not sorted out our problem. We're not buying these, we're not getting these players or, you know, this heavy metal football that Klopp said that he wanted to play, that Gina Rinaldo, all he used to do was to break the play up, pass the ball quickly, and we just seem to be just be, just be playing around with the ball. You know, what are we doing? But when and you... I, I wait, wait, wait. In, I, Go on, carry on. Yeah, sorry. You know, I just think, that, you know, um, there's not a lot being said about Liverpool and the manager, but, you know, surely it's going to come very soon whereby... Questions are going to have to be going to be asked. The answers are going to have to be given. We're going backwards. I mean, we, we had something that we we turned the corner after so many years of, of abs absolute, you know, dismal. You know, we, we we were so far behind, and we've had something that's been good for the last few years, and we seem to just be turning our back against it. Mm. And if we're not, if we're not, it, you know, we, we could just go back where we're coming from. Uh, uh, surely, thanks for the call. But Gab, whenever I looked at Liverpool under Klopp, and it took, mm -hmm. him, it took him a little bit of time to get the first season. I think they finished eighth in, the, in his first season. Took over uh, from Brendan. 
And he eventually got the players that he wanted and the style of play, this high press, high yep. intent. I'm just looking at that midfield, Henderson, Fabinho and, and Thiago. There's not a lot of legs there. So change the there's way not, you play? There's not... Well, change the way you play? Well, you know they can't well, press. But okay, so so do, do they need... I mean, they spent money on Gakpo. Is they, do, should they be spending money on a midfielder that's got legs? I mean, De- Declan Rice is the one that, that everyone's talking about, but Bellingham is the, who they keep getting yes. linked with. That's the, that's the type of player well, they, yeah, they need. They, they, 100%, but if you know that you haven't got the players you used to, ha- to have... The one Yaldum's in there, yes. the other players you used and, to have. And, and younger for change younger. your Change your way of playing. Change he's, your he's way not, of he's playing. He's not going to, is he? He's not going to. Well, he has to today. I'm watching. We had all four mm, games, I think, we, we and I was glued to that game. Mm. I couldn't believe the mm. ball was mm. just stuck in Liverpool's half. Like, Liverpool couldn't get out. They couldn't. No, they're right. They're and right. some of the players, like Trent, I mean, I love Trent, but he was doing things he was doing earlier on in the season again. He, he was getting yeah. he was getting taken on and he, he was just yeah. like, all right, someone else will have him and then just trotting back. Mm. Salah doesn't look himself. The whole team, like Matip today, Gomez, when yeah. you come on. Yeah. Yeah. Like, did they need a new voice? And people might say, I've got an agenda against Clark. I haven't. I'm just looking at it and the facts are there. Tomorrow, there could be 19 points behind Arsenal. <sighs> 19 points. Mitoma had a field day. I mean, I don't know how they keep finding these players, Brighton. Their, their, their recruitment and their scouting network is second to none. Yes. Bringing young players in. Mitoma, I mean, he had a good World Cup. I saw him before the World Cup. Yeah. But tonight, he, he had Trent on toast. He did. But if you do your research mm-hmm. and, you, and you watch videos on Trent, you know mm-hmm. if you left one-on-one versus with, against him, mm-hmm. you're going to have a field day. Indeed. 